name is Andrea Funderburg. Hi, my name is Tanya Fell. Hi, my name is Lena Wilson. Hi, my name is Bailey Hubbard. Okay, so today we're doing our experiment based off of a uniform circular motion. So basically circular motion is a constant speed in a circular path. And today we're going to explain a concept or go over the experiment of centripetal force. Our question is what is the centripetal force of our system and centripetal force is a type of force a part of circular motion and it is basically all the net forces pointing towards the center of the path. Okay for our demonstration here we have a string and it's attached to a lead at the bottom and a clip at the top. It has a washer here as our stopping point and we also have a straw here. So the weight will serve as our direct measurement of centripetal force and the clip on top will serve as our experimental centripetal force. When we spin this, the straw will move down and the string will move the weight up as it's spinning in a circle. So in order to get our average time, we're going to take 0.41 seconds and add it to the 0.44 seconds and divide it by 2. So, so the average time will equal 0.43 seconds. Before we found our centripetal force, we found um, our radius of the string here, and we found the mass of the clip and the mass of the weight. So the mass of the clip was, it's 0, 0.0125 kilograms. Our radius was 0 0.205 meters. velocity and to do that we use the equation 2 pi r over t so we had to plug in our radius into this and we use um, the 0.43 seconds from our average time and we got 3 meters per second and then once we found our average velocity, we can now find the acceleration of our system, and our equation goes as um, velocity squared over radius. So we're going to go ahead and input our velocity here um, squared, and then divide by the radius, which again is 0 0.205 meters, and then that leaves us with the final acceleration being 43 0.9 meters per second squared. Okay, and so here we found, um, so the force, so it's mass times acceleration. Um, so the mass would be um, the mass of the clip, which is let's see, 0 0.0125. And then our acceleration is the 43.9 meters per second squared. Okay, and so for the force, um, it ended up being 0.55 newtons. So next we want to find the direct centripetal force. So to do that, we did F equals M times A. And then the mass of the weight at the bottom was 0 0.067. And then we times that by 9.8 meters per second. So the force equals 0.66 newtons. So by using the direct centripetal force and the experimental centripetal force, we can find the percent difference of our 
system. So I'm going to do 0.55 newtons minus 0.66 newtons divided by 0.55 newtons and then multiply that by 100. So we got 0.17 and then times 100 equals 17%. So 17% will be our percent error. So our question again for our experiment was what is the centripetal force of our system? Um, again, we came up with 0.55 newtons and after doing the calculations, we only had about a 17% uh, percent error meaning we did pretty good for our experiment, and thank you for joining us. Again, my name is Lena Wilson.